Well, happy summer to you all. And you might be saying, what's this? Well, this is a JBL 2245J. A customer asked me if I could coat the diaphragms with aquaplaws, and I said, certainly. So he brought them up, I just I replaced the foam, because it was just goo, the foam in the, in the loading cap with felt. This actually, I, I built up some stacks of uh, hobby felt, cut them in about a five inch diameter, and it's gonna work just fine, but it will never rot. Now, back to the aquaplaws. The aquaplaws, the naked diaphragm without any aquaplaws, and here's the underside of it. So there's the, there's the untreated titanium. This is 16 ohm. Uh, it weighs 66 grams. I weighed it beforehand, and I forgot to weigh them before I coated the uh, piece, but it uh, takes about about a gram, depending on how hard the wind blows in here. It's probably a gram, maybe a gram and a half. You see it's shifting between 68 and 67. It's not a sophisticated uh, scale. It's just a kitchen gram scale to measure your food uh, but it doesn't take much so one gram is very little uh, and what what does the aquaplaws do i've talked about it before on some other diaphragms but the titanium is thinner than the, the than the equivalent aluminum domes the 2440 domes let me get this set in here 2440 domes and 2441 aluminum domes were made of aluminum and the thickness of the of the dome was three thousandths of an inch and the aluminum is pretty soft so it has uh, a, a very good internal damping so the resonance modes it doesn't resonate the whole bunch throughout its useful range well the titanium now now and, and the aluminum uh under harsh conditions, the aluminum will shatter. If the phase plug makes contact, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting all confused here. If the diaphragm makes contact with the phase plug because of a transient or the crossover frequency is too low, it will shatter, uh, no doubt. The titanium is extremely tough, and rather than shatter, the uh, phase plug might put an imprint in the bottom of the uh, the dome, the diaphragm. So, what what happens with the thinner titanium? Since titanium is actually heavier than aluminum, they had to make it fifty percent thinner. So it's two thousandths of an inch thick rather than three thousandths of an inch thick, uh, and that poses some resonance problems. And that's why JBL uh, decided to, to do the, the SL diaphragms, like the 2450 and 2451 SL diaphragms. Those are coated with black aquaplaws. Uh, and I coat the whole thing. I coat the surround as well. So what happens with these, when, when they're on the sweep generator, uh, sweeping it through its range from about 500 hertz up to 16,000, at about it's 16,000 hertz, 14 to 16,000 hertz, just like on the one inch drivers, you can hear a secondary resonance that's an octave below. Just, it's louder than the fundamental frequency. So you can hear the 8,000 hertz uh, over the 16,000 hertz, and that's what gives it that edginess, that cut, what people call it, cuts through. Well, it's distortion. It, what's cutting through is actual distortion. So I'm going to put this back together. I'm going to sweep it to, so you can hear. I know it's going to be on the Internet, on YouTube, whatever, but, uh, and it's on the Internet. But I've actually swept these before and put them on the Internet, and uh, you can actually hear the secondary resonance light up much louder than the fundamental. So... Let me get this put together. Let me put the camera down. Let me get it all put back together, and then we'll do a sweep. 
All right, diaphragm is installed. Now, when you install a diaphragm, you want to do a star pattern on the screws to make sure that they're torqued down evenly. You don't need to over tighten them. It doesn't take much, but that's just a little tip. So here we go. I'm going to hook up the sweep generator. Smoother this could be. All right, that was without the loading cap on. Now let's do it with a loading cap. I'll sweep it through again. Sixteen thousand hertz. You hear nothing. If you're lucky enough to hear sixteen to eighteen thousand, you're you're doing good. Sounds good. 2445J aquaplazed the naked titanium di diaphragm, which is a D16R2445. All right, talk to you later. Thanks. Happy summer. Bye.